as you were trying to get ready and waiting to find out if this was going to happen? Yeah, so uh, fortunately I live out here in, in, uh, in Phoenix, so uh, regardless if spring training started on time or, or you know, obviously we were delayed, uh, it'd be an easy transition or easy uh, transfer from where I was working out over um, in Mesa or Scottsdale to, to here. So uh, luckily working with a good group of guys, uh, a lot from the team, a lot from other organizations as well, and uh, just, you know, staying prepared. Uh, I think that's all you can ask for, especially once, you know, Spring training games uh, gets canceled or, um, you know, start a little later. You just got to stay prepared at all times. And, uh, yeah, I think, you know, like I said, that good group of guys, you know, really helped uh, help, help me still prepare and get ready for this. Yeah, how, how are you mentally approaching this? I mean, obviously, last year wasn't the year you wanted, but then you've had this time to kind of reassess. How are you approaching things now? Yeah, I think it's kind of more so just uh, embracing the challenge. Um, you know, obviously, the year last year wasn't the year I ex expected or wanted to have, but I think... Uh, you learn a lot from that, and uh, you take all that and put it, you know, behind you, and just kind of move forward. Uh, you know, this off season, uh, I spent a lot of time uh, kind of thinking of what what I want to do and you know, how I want to approach things and, and all that. And um, but yeah, no, I think this spring training it's kind of like others, where um, obviously just want to prepare myself for season. Um, wanted to come in, make sure that I wasn't behind or. Uh, didn't need to catch up or, or whatnot, so got ahead of things, started a little earlier in the off season, and uh, prepare myself for you know for this upcoming season. But yeah, I mean, just just go out there, compete, um, you know, meet all the new faces on, in this clubhouse, and uh, just get back to playing on the baseball field. You know, I think we all miss that, and we're all glad to be back and um, you know doing this again. When when you get here and you finally get the chance to talk with Ozzy and Connor. Mm -hmm. How is that going? Because obviously it's brand new, and you didn't have that off season to to kind of get to know them. Yeah, I mean they reached out right before the lockout, uh, introduced themselves. Obviously, uh, no communication during during that time, but uh, but yeah, no, I mean things have been great so far. Um, I think you know both of them have come in and uh, you kind of wanted to learn us a little bit more and uh, understand what it takes for us to be successful. And I think it's both of a learning period for both of us right now, or for on all sides from players to coaches aspect of. Um, understanding each other's games, understanding each other's philosophies, and then uh, go from there. But no, so far so good. Uh, doing some good stuff in the cages and on the field, and um, definitely you know looking to, to build a relationship. What are you doing different this this spring that you the, to to try to get everything back in order for you where you're comfortable? Yeah, I mean I think just kind of simplifying things, um, simplify the the swing, the the setup, and all that. Um, simplify the mindset. Uh, Make sure I'm prepared uh, for all aspects or anything that comes my way. Um, sticking to my routine, being able to to be confident in that routine uh, from start to finish, from the moment I you know wake up to the moment I go to bed, and uh, just be consistent with it. I think you know once you know, I'm able to do that, and uh, I think everything will kind of play out. Did you get away from the game, and did you have anything special this this off season that you were able to enjoy, just completely away from baseball? Yeah, I made a decent amount of trips back to California to visit my family, see my parents. Um, they're doing great. Uh, it's, it's you know, luckily you know in Arizona it's either a, a quick drive uh, or, or cheap, quick flight. So uh, fortunate enough to, to go back there a lot and see them. And uh, but you know, like I said, you know, I got normally I start things up in uh, beginning January, late December. Uh, this year started a little earlier, so um, I think it was more so I wanted to address it kind of early and you know see how things go. I knew things were gonna. Uh, changing the swing a little bit. Um, obviously, I had that minor arm uh, surgery cleanup uh, at the end of the season. So, uh, from the moment that happened, to staying prepared, get my physical therapy in, get my treatment in, uh, going through my throwing program, uh, progressing th through all that. So, uh, it's been a busy off season. I'll, I'll say that. And uh, but no, I think it's all it's all good, and uh, it's going to help me prepare, like except for the season. Games start today. What what does that mean yeah. now that you're here? Yeah, it's come quick. I mean, I, we all knew that. Uh, with a shortened spring, you know, games were going to come quick. Um, I think that's why it was all on a, us to, to kind of be prepared during the during the downtime. And um, but no, we're we're all excited to get back on the field and, and compete. Uh, I know we all miss, miss that co uh, competition and um, you know that factor of you know playing against other other teams and uh, other faces and, and and whatnot. So we're all excited to to get the game, the ball rolling and, um, and get out there. Uh, a couple more things. Uh, Lorenzo Cain's just a couple lockers away. He says this could be his last year. He doesn't know. What has he meant? Oh, man. I mean, he, I think everyone in this clubhouse and his organization knows uh, his value to this team on the field and off the field. 
Um, he, he's a good guy to obviously we all see what he does on the field defensively and and what he does in the clubhouse I think is even more. Um, he kind of keeps the clubhouse together, keeps the environment loose. Um, he's he's the perfect kind of guy. Like I, I said this about Willie too. Um, you know, he, he's he's having fun, but at the same time he's competing and you don't get one in one and in front of the other, in the way of the other, uh, where you can find that perfect balance of, you know, going out there and, and giving it your all, but at the same time having fun with it. So uh, we're definitely glad to have him on the team. And um, obviously, if this is last year, you know, he's had one hell of a career and, uh, you know, all respects to him. But no, I think he's, he's ready to go out there this year and prove something. And Andrew McCutcheon added to the mix. What has he been like in this clubhouse for this short amount of time you've been around him? Yeah, I mean, before we, uh, once we signed him, you know, everyone was talking about how great of a clubhouse guy he is, and um, obviously he's a veteran who, who's been through a lot and um, had a lot of successes along the way. So we're definitely excited to have him uh, part of this crew. And uh, you know, so far he, he's been great. Um, you know, I've had some reps in the outfield, talked to him a little bit out there, and. Uh, you know, I, I grew up watching him as well, so I'm not trying to make him feel old. So, um, but no, no, we're all, we're all excited to have him. Um, obviously, his bat speaks for himself or his track record, and uh, and I think he's gonna have a lot of fun hitting, hitting in Miller Park and or last, American Family Field. Yeah. yeah. The the last question is, I know every year Craig comes in and talks to you guys. It's, it's pretty much the same message, maybe a little different specifically each year, but it's always about connectivity with mm -hmm. you guys. What was it like this year because of the difference maybe going into spring training than the way it normally would be? Uh, I think it's we have uh, a main core group of guys. You know, for the past few years, you know, we've gone to the playoffs, and um, I think that core group of guys are still here. And uh, I think every year uh, those values get instilled between uh, those players. And um, you know, when new new faces come in, new new players come in, uh, we instill that into them. And I think you know, I think our management goes out. And, and finds the right people to kind of fit that mold and you know, kind of play for each other and, and, and wanting to play for each other. So I, it's always been a, a really good clubhouse um, so far for every team I played with, uh, you know, in my career. And, um, you know, we're, we're definitely really excited for this, this uh, roster as well. All right. Hey, again, thanks. And best of luck to you.